As you recall in the previous training video, we came here to our resource sheet view in order to learn how to enter in our resources. How do I know what view I'm in? Well, you can come over here and look on the view bar. It says right here, resource sheet. What I want to do now is I want to get back to the Gantt chart view because I want to cover outlining our task. Now to get back there, I can do it one of a few ways as we covered in another training video. You can either come up here and click on the view menu and go down to Gantt chart or come over here and right click on the collapse view bar and go to Gantt chart or expand the view bar by checking it and then come up here and click on Gantt chart and then to have more view over here you can right click and uncheck the view bar to collapse it. The first thing you'll probably notice is that I've added more tasks to my project and as a quick review I've got my summary task and my subtask. I've identified or marked my summary task by adding the word phase to them. So there's my research phase. Holding down the control key I can go ahead and select the rest of my summary tasks here. And as you recall, a summary task requires many subtasks in order to complete it. So you could say for the research part of my project, I specifically need to complete these three subtasks. And then for the outline, phase, those three, development, and so on. Now the whole point of this training video is to get project to recognize which ones are your summary tasks. Because there's a great benefit if it does. And it's really simple to do. All you have to do is, well, let me click off in a blank area is to go ahead and select your subtask. So for my research phase, I'm just going to click and drag and select the three subtasks there. Come up here on the formatting toolbar and click on the indent button. Of course, you've got your shortcut there, Alt, Shift, and the right arrow. And click on it once, and a couple of things happen. First of all, notice that the summary task is in bold, just like our project summary task up above. Also, it sets up the hierarchy of it because the subtasks have been indented. Also, you notice over in the Gantt chart, you got the project summary bar, and then you have the task summary bar. They both have starting points. They mark the earliest task. And in this case, for the research phase, one of these tasks, but the earliest is that they all start at the same time, so the earliest is going to be August 1st. And then it takes the task furthest out. The task furthest out, coincidentally, are both these tasks. They both are five days. And it summarizes how long it'll take to complete all three tasks, or subtasks, and it'll take five days. Now, it's not doing it vertically and saying 5 plus 5 plus 2, well, that's 12. It's actually doing it right now horizontally. Now, I know your tasks are not all going to start at the same time. And we'll cover this in a later training video on creating links or linking up our task and creating relationships. In other words, when this task completes 5 days, then start the next one. So that's an additional 5 days. You've got 10. And then when that one completes, do the next one so you're two days further out. So when all is said and done, you've got a total of five days, then start the next one five days, then start the next one two days, and you got 12 days. It'll summarize that and give you 12 days. You should also know that it also summarizes the cost. Later on, when we apply cost to each one of our tasks, we can go to a view that will show the total cost for the research phase. And of course, because we have a project summary task here, we can get the total cost for the project as well. But let's go ahead and stay focused. All we want to do here is to get project to see what the summary tasks are and the subtasks. So I'm going to go ahead and select all my subtasks by holding down the control key to make it easier and go faster. And then after I select them all, I can either click on the indent button or I can use the shortcut, Alt, Shift, and right arrow. And there we go, we're done. And you'll notice that any changes that are made that they shaded in the table, the cells here. And when I come up here and click Save, they disappear also your undo button so make sure that before you save it you like what you see or you go ahead and if you're not sure go ahead and make a copy do a file to save as and save a copy now you might be asking yourself well surely if I can indent one of these and make it a subtask to the uh, summary task then I can go ahead and come up here and do an outdent well just be careful what you select and what you're getting into for example if I go ahead and say look I don't want this to be a subtask when I select it and I click on the opposite arrow here, the outdent, it actually turns it into a summary task and takes the outline phase and just keeps it as a regular task. So now what used to be a subtask here is now a summary task for these two subtasks here. So just be careful what you're selecting and outdenting so you know what you're doing. And if you want that to be your summary task, great. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and hit undo and get back to normal. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.